When you imagine the ruler archetype, picture a figure of unshakable authority, a leader who's the epitome of dominance, under whose guidance chaos turns into order and uncertainty into direction. From the corner offices of powerful corporations to the throne rooms of monarchies, the ruler archetype casts a long and influential shadow throughout the pages of our collective history. They hold the power to dictate their own destinies, they make the seemingly unattainable attainable, and where others might seek protection, the ruler takes charge and confronts any threat that stands in their way. And if you ever wondered how to connect to your future clients in a meaningful way, then today's video is for you. This is another episode of the Brand Archetype series. In this series, I'll help you find your own brand archetype. You learn what customers of your archetype are looking for and why brand archetypes are so important when it comes to positioning your brand. And now, let's give you some background information. The first to talk about archetypes in this way was famous psychiatrist Carl Jung. According to Jung, humans possess a collective unconscious that's able to recognize repeating structures and patterns in human behavior that are universally understood across countries and cultures. And they can all briefly be defined into 12 types that each follow one of four primary goals. Leave a mark in the world, provide structure, connect to others, and yearn for paradise. And today, we'll talk about the ruler. So the ruler is the type who always leads with the unshakable vision to instill stability and order. So this is an individual with such an influential presence, they're also often referred to as the sovereign leader, the politician, or the executive. When you first encounter a ruler, you might recognize them by their commanding presence and their confidence that suggests that they're in control. And that's because rulers live by one guiding principle. Power isn't everything, it's the only thing. In corporate settings, rulers enjoy taking on leadership roles and being in control as much as possible. And so they thrive in companies with established hierarchies where their authority is respected and their directives are followed. And so brands that leverage the ruler archetype are Rolex, Mercedes-Benz, Singapore Airlines, and Boss. These brands position themselves as an epitome of luxury, exclusivity, and power. Ruler brands encourage their customers to rise above the average, instilling a sense of confidence and intrigue in the brand. And so personal brands that represent the ruler archetype are Anna Vintour, Warren Buffett, Queen Elizabeth, and Hillary Clinton. And while rulers are powerful individuals that thrive on control, their biggest fear is to lose their influence and be overthrown. Yeah, Shiv, you should probably know. It's me. It's you? Yeah, you might as well know. I mean, Bullshit. you're gonna find, I mean, you're gonna find out. It's gonna be, I think, uh, yeah. And I, you know, maybe, maybe I wonder if you, if it is an idea that you should you. Really? F you. Yeah. What? Jesus, you're a f like you went for a, a an empty f suit? Oh yeah, maybe I'll oh, actually maybe you should vote it through. Hey, yeah, maybe Come on. I know you. Like you wouldn't if it was the other way around. You know what? Good luck. Yeah. Good luck. Because we have the numbers, yeah? Good f luck. It's Tom. What? It's f Tom. Tom? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's Man. run our numbers. At their best, rulers can be seen as inspirational and powerful and establish a sense of stability. At their worst, they can be seen as authoritarian and too dominant. As a ruler brand, you promote yourself as an epitome of luxury, power, and stability. Your customers will seek security, prestige, and of course, a little bit of exclusivity. 
And now I'd love to hear from you. Did you resonate with the ruler archetype? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I hope this little video here will help you build your brand with confidence. If you want to learn more about brand archetypes, make sure to check out this playlist right here. Take care and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.